Heading back to school comes with its own stressors. Nowhere is that more apparent than when your kids head to middle school. From navigating different classrooms and changing teachers every period to wanting to fit in while still standing out. It's something that I haven't dealt with since I was in middle school, but all that's changing this year as my daughter Ava is heading to Patrick Henry Middle School. To make sure she's comfortable on that first day, we went all out and gave her a dreamy locker makeover. Take a look. We're here at Patrick Henry Middle School with my daughter Ava. She's headed into sixth grade, and it turns out that in middle school, your locker decor is a really big deal. So I'm doing the rest of you moms out there a favor, and we are decorating Ava's locker today so that you can get all of our tips and Ava's tips so that you're gonna be ready to start the school year in style. So are you ready, Ava? Yeah. All right, so here we are at your locker. Yeah. We've been crafting away for the last couple of weeks to get some DIY stuff done. And so I think we're gonna start at the top. And you told me that wa uh, locker wallpaper is actually a thing now. Mm -hmm. So this paper is the thicker paper from the craft store and it was there were four sheets for a dollar, so it's pretty affordable. And we just measured and cut this down. Glue a couple magnets to the back of the paper and that way it'll sit in the locker really easily without attaching itself permanently. So, do you wanna get this one in? We'll get all the different sides of the paper in and then what is another thing that you need in your locker to cover the bottom? A rug. Locker rug. Yep. So you need a locker rug. Everybody here at Patrick Henry is getting ready for the school year. So if you can hear a little background noise, we are not the only ones out here. So we've got a rug. Tell them your tip for making your rug stay in, your, in place. So if you put just hot glue on the back of it, then it'll be a little bit, um, grip. Like it, it'll be like a grip. So then it will slide less when you take stuff in and out of your locker. So every important space needs some lighting. So we've created some lighting in the form of a locker chandelier. Did you know that locker chandeliers are a thing now? <laughs> All right, so should we show this first? This is a puck light that we've glued a magnet onto. There's a pipe cleaner we're using, and then these are embroidery hoops with some trim on them. And I took video when we were making this, so we'll put it online for a little extra for you. So ready, you wanna put that in? Turn it on. Ah! Look at that. How cute is that? So, you know, you need a lot of storage when we're talking about the school year and keeping your kids organized. You definitely wanna have lots of storage areas for them to keep things. So we've taken some really affordable, but just like bins and glued magnets on them too. So they could go up here or they could go down below. It can kind of go wherever you need it to be. Bulletin boards are all the rage. This is just two pieces of cork board from Hobby Lobby glued together, some magnets glued on the back. And then on the front, we glued a couple of clothespins. So you can kind of use it to hold pictures or whatever. Up. The other thing for storage too, is we've taken some just cardboard tubes, paper, um, toilet paper rolls, and the inside of the roll of ribbon that we made that chandelier out of, and we yep. just wrapped them in fun glittery papers to make extra containers. What are the important locker details for the door? Um, so like a pencil holder or like um, a phone holder. You can put a mirror right here and I would probably slide that down. And you can put it sideways, so it would fit better probably, but then also just regularly, it doesn't matter. Um, a little hanger to hang your face mask. Um, so we have some photos that we put on in these. Are just, these. Yeah, these are just these clear magnetic frames we got from Hobby Lobby that are easy to put photos in. I like that. Helen, where are you gonna put those? Do not put your photos on your locker with tape now, or stickers, right? Yeah. Okay. So we found these wooden letters, and we just got the letters for her name, A, V, A, let's see, like that, and we put magnets on them. So these are little magnets, too, that can kind of, maybe they could go up here. I like this. These, which are like on what's on the cork board, but then they're magnetic. Yeah, so you just put another, again, we put some little magnets on these clothespins, and we just use some, I think for this we use Gorilla Glue. Yeah. No, just, I use hot glue. Do you use hot glue on this? Okay. 
And then you can hang another cute little photo of your friends to enjoy between classes. I love that. We started out thinking we would want two shelves for a little bit more storage, but when we kind of were looking at this, it looks like it might be a little too big to fit her coat and her backpack into, but we're not going to be needing those coats right away either. So maybe we'll try the two shelves and see how the year goes. We can always bring it home. So we just got these shelves. And they come apart so you can put them in the locker. To start with, that bottom shelf is going to be like gym shoes and boots once it starts to get cold and stuff like that. Yeah. And then for now that we have the two shelves, we got just a easy little bin here to slide in as kind of a little drawer. And then on top of here, we can do another locker rug and then kind of set your books and stuff out. So another option for a locker rug we're not quite done with, we're going to have to get it done with, is a kind of just gluing pom-poms down. Should we show them that one? Sure. The start of it? Okay, I'll get it. So we haven't finished this off, but we just have a felt that we've made all kinds of different shapes and colors of pom-poms here. And another idea we're trying is just to use a magazine file. And then this would even be a fun thing to color or decorate or line with paper. You made this kind of bunting out of duct tape? Yeah, so I just used two different colored duct tapes, the white and gold. And I folded it over and then I cut it. So we're not quite done. Now that we've been in here and we see how things fit, we'll probably make the rest of the wallpaper for the main part of the locker, adjust some of our decor, get the rest of the things put up, and we'll be done. But I think we have a good start. What do you think? Yeah. Are you ready for sixth grade? I don't know. <laughs> well, I think everyone else is going to be a lot more ready after they saw this locker set up. So. Yeah. We'll make sure we show pictures as we add stuff throughout the year and as we get ready for the school year. So make sure you check that out on Facebook, too. Well, thanks, Ava, for sharing your locker with us. Yeah. All right. It's time to go. Okay. If your incoming sixth grader is in the Sioux Falls School District, you can help them set up their locker at your middle school's open house. For details on dates and times, along with COVID-related restrictions, please visit the district's website at sf.k12.sd.us. We'll have the information for Patrick Henry's Panther Preview Day in the article for this segment online.